one thing for sure, it was really hot at Liberty Station today. I bet. We we're sweating, all of us. Yeah, since early this morning, right? We got a yeah. lot of heat. I was out uh, in Little Italy for the uh, farmer's market, and already 90 degrees or so by 9 o'clock this morning. Right now, here's another live shot right over Poway. Look at the left side of your screen. Another shot of the fire over at Camp Pendleton. Uh, it's very hot, very dry out there. And as we look out over Red Mountain to the west, you can see some of the haze and some of the smoke from the fire there as well. And right now, as we look over downtown, look at that flag moving around. The winds are switching around, becoming west wind right along the coast, northwest right now at 10 miles per hour. We're at 83 degrees at Limburg, 20% relative humidity, and that has been our big story all day long. We'll continue to see less in the way of humidity as we go through tonight and into tomorrow. Still hot and dry. Lots of 80s on the map to near 90s and along the coast. We're still in the 80s as well, so hot day. The relative humidity has been a very big story for us. 5%, 6% El Cajon to Ramona, 10% Chula Vista. Right along the coast, we're only at about 20% or so. Camp Pendleton, 8%. You just had Maria, Maria talking about it being less than 10% since 8 o'clock this morning. Not much improved since the afternoon. Still a dry offshore wind coming through the mountains of the deserts right along the coast and places about 10 miles outside of the coast, just west of the coast. We're starting to get an onshore breeze. It's not going to last, but nonetheless, you can see the wind coming down a little bit from where it was today. Some gusts closer to 25 and even 40 miles per hour across the higher elevations and across the highest peaks. We've had some 60 mile per hour gusts. Most of the strong winds have been up north over Riverside County. This area of high pressure parked over the Great Basin has given it so strong offshore winds. We continue to see the drying conditions as the air is compressed and moves over the land and gets to our direction, dries things out. Tomorrow we have less in the way of wind as this area of high pressure starts to break down. It is still going to be hot and dry though. Next thing that I want to point out, this system way out here, guess what that's going to do for us on Wednesday? Give us some rain and cooler conditions, much colder as we get into Wednesday. So we're talking fire conditions today and even into Monday starting to lose that. But Wednesday we'll be talking about some very cold air and some rain back in the forecast. All right, so that red flag warning want to remind you yet again for the mountains and the deserts. This is in place through 6 p.m. tomorrow because of those dry conditions and those winds. We are here's the future cast wind. We'll continue where we left off from earlier. We'll stop at 1 30 tomorrow afternoon. So during the early morning hours, not so breezy. It's the afternoon that the offshore starts to pick up about 8 to 15 miles per hour, even 20 miles per hour, and those are sustained winds. We'll get ahead into future cast with the relative humidity here. Notice we're still at about 9 to 20 percent, starting to see some improvement right along the coast during the afternoon as the onshore starts to come on back in. All right, your overnight lows, you've got some 50s. Again, a cold start to tomorrow morning. You've got highs tomorrow coming on back into the 90s, so still hot out there. Take a look at the forecast extended along the coast. Yeah, we were 83 tomorrow right along the coast, 63 on Wednesday with rain. Big change, 20 degree swing in a matter of days, 93 across the warmer spots tomorrow, 65 on Wednesday with rain again. Still hot and dry tomorrow though. Big changes ahead. Huge, big change, big swing. <laughs> Huge, all right, yeah. thanks. Mm -hmm.